All right, in order to mix our monochromatic color scheme, what you want to do is you want to have whatever color you've chosen. So in my case, it is red, uh, and I'm going to have red and white and black and red over here. And we have to mix our colors on the end to begin with, because monochromatic is one color mixed with uh, white and black and shades of gray. So I'm going to take quite a bit of white and add some red to it. Now this could be whatever color you've chosen. You might have picked yellow or violet or purple or um, blue. It's up to you. So I'm going to mix this here first in this dipping well. And then I'm going to paint it where it says red and white. Now I'm going to paint this quickly so you guys have a chance to work on your project. But you want to make sure that you take your time and do a nice job painting in there and staying inside the lines. You want to get used to being able to manipulate the brush. And then the next thing we're going to mix is red and black. Okay, so it's like two parts red, one part black. Mix it together, and it'll probably just be kind of a darker version of that. Unless you're mixing yellow or orange, you might get like a green or brown. And you'll paint it over here. Now, to mix these together, what we're going to do, I already have some red and black mixed on my brush here, so I'm going to take and I'm going to mix it over here with my red and white. Now, whenever you mix this together, what you're going to do is you're going to just use your red and white and your black and red, okay? And then paint my new color right here. Then I'm going to add a little bit more red and black and mix it together and paint it right here. You want to make sure that you're seeing the variations there. It should get a little darker every time you go down. If it doesn't, just add more red and black to it. Now those look similar, so I'm going to take and add more red and black. And then I'm probably going to have to mix more red and black together, which is okay. It's a little darker. Now to mix more red and black, you don't have to worry about the slight gray value that's in there. You can just take more red, maybe do three this time, and one thing of black. Mix it together. You want to make sure that you mix it all together so there's no swirls in it. Sometimes it takes a little bit. And then you can mix it with this, your red and white. And then paint it here. So it's getting darker every step as it goes down. And then maybe for the last one, since I'm so close, if you can, you have more red and black, you could just mix it together in here, but I'm going to take my red and black here and just kind of mix this together, see how it matches here, and it's a good fit for in between the two, okay, because there would be a little bit of value left in there. If you want to just add some of this in there, and if you think it's too dark, you could lighten it up and then paint it there. All right, colors on your paper are going to be different than what you actually see here. So I'll take this around so you guys can see the actual results.